Hello there, World of Tankers. I'm Jordals Blitz, and in today's video, we're going to be playing in the SPIC. I kind of forgot about this tank, but it actually did receive quite a big buff in Update 7.1. Not only did it get a DPM buff, it got a bunch of buffs on every end of the tank. So in today's video, we're going to be playing the vehicle, seeing is it actually a good tank now. A lot of people liked it before. I never really liked this tank or even played it because whenever you go against them, they're pretty much the punching bag of Tier 7. If you're in any other tank, you pretty much just shoot the SPIC and it falls apart. Two high explosive shells from any Russian uh, 122 in the game and you're pretty much taken out. So I don't have my crew maxed out. I will say that right now. I didn't want to buy gold just to max out a tier 7 tank I'm never going to play after today's video. So yeah, that is one thing I am going to say right now. But even with the crew not fully maxed out, we still should get a pretty good sense of how the tank plays in game. So we're going to be trying it out where it does have an auto loader, a pretty cool one at that. Two shells, three second interval, and then it reloads the clip, I think, in like 10 or 11 seconds. It's not that bad on the DPM. There's one thing I've noticed with this tank. I played two games before in it, and um, there's one big issue, and that is the shell velocity. It is completely atrocious. That's something I think Wargaming should buff, because if you're shooting at people really far away, it's going to suck. Now, I will say also, teams have been really bad lately, and again, I'm not sure why my Wi-Fi Firefly would want to push his medium tank to the town. They have a Panther M10, a Thunder, and a VK-28. That is three medium-ish tanks. So I don't know why people think uh, pushing the other way, but now I'm kind of screwed because of that. So I'm still going to wait here. I know I've got a way better camera rating than the uh, the enemy team. So we'll just wait here. We'll see if we can spot the enemy. There we go. We got the VK-28. That's one nice tap into you. And uh, are we going to be able to get one more? Yes, we are. So that's already 400 damage taken off of that VK. And that guy is actually running away, which is perfect, which means that the entirety of the enemy team did not push this way. So uh, we've got the Thunder spotted over to the side here. Can we get a shell into that Thunder? No, we cannot. But um, I'm still going to wait quite calm and collected here because, uh, yeah, they got a KV-2. And as we all know, the KV-2 is the demolisher of my vehicle. Pretty much will, uh, uh, even with, you know, the slightest nudge, just finish me right off of the battlefield. So let's see, we got the VK-28, we got a lot of deadly tanks here that I don't necessarily want to play with right now, but um, that was a pretty nice tap. We're going to reload our clip, and uh, yeah, that's the KV-2 right there. Let's back up before that guy sees us. Ooh, that is, a, that is not a feeling you want to have. Oh, he does see us. Okay, so KV-2, let's see if he wants to pull out to this side. There we go, nice tap, and we've also got the... Uh, We've also got the Tiger 131, another nice tap. So we're already at 1,100 damage. So I'm actually liking the SPIC. You will notice, though, shell velocity really kind of sucks on this tank. So here we go. We are reloaded once again. And let's try and get another nice tap into the, uh, the enemy team. There you go. Nice tap into the Panther. And uh, another fire. There you go. Two extremely low rolls. But nonetheless, they were penetrations. And uh, I never complain about penetrations. As long as they pen, I don't really care. I will say, though, but HE low rolls, then I might complain. Because, yeah, sometimes HE can change the course of an entire battle. So there we go. Not only a fire on that KV-2, but can we get it? Ah, I wasn't able to finish him off. But you know what? I'll take the fire. That made up for our couple penetrations there that did not work. So, um... Let's see what else wants to play with us here. I'm going to wait for my shells to come back. We got that Tiger 131 once again here. There's one shell into the Tiger. Is he going to pull out once again? KV-2 is right there. And uh, let's finish off the KV-2 because, as we all know, KV-2 is not necessarily a tank I want to play with. So how much damage have we pulled out already? 2,000 damage. You know, that's a pretty uh, pretty respectable amount, to be honest, for a Tier 6 game. We got the, uh, the Panther M10 right there, who I would love to be able to shoot in the turret, but it looks like we're just not going to be able to. We got the Sturer a mill right there, but uh, Panther M10 is the big target right now. So that's one tap into the Panther. That's two taps. Finished off the Panther. People really underestimate the gun on this tank. It is extremely deadly if played in the correct scenario. So here we go. Once again, we're going to be pulling out. Let's see if we can finish off this VK-28. That's all that's pretty much left. So once we finish off this VK, we will be in the clear. So let's push this way. Um, let's see if this VK wants to play with us. Oh, he does not. I can tell you that. So we've got the Sturer Mill right there, who, yeah, is another tank I don't necessarily want to play with. So let's see if we can get this uh, the Sturer Mill. That's a guy you know I would love to get with HE. So there's one HE into the side of him, and uh, one more for the for good effort. Oh, that one did not pen. But you know what? We still got the HEs out, so that's always something that's nice. And um, the Sturer Mill is so slow, in fact, that I should easily just be able to come up behind him here and get another HE right in. So... There we go, another HE, and one more, and we should be all good on the pain train. There you go, 338 damage, max roll on the HE, and we were able to break 3,000 damage. So, 
Very, very good game for the first attempt there. 3,600 damage. Very surprised we didn't get out of mastery there. But honestly, that was actually a very, very good game. I'm very surprised how well we were able to do. Now, I want to see how much heat then this tank has. Ooh, 220. That is not the best number. If we're up against tier 8 opponents, yeah, that's really going to struggle. But you know what? That was a great game. Great effort for the SPIC. We were able to get out a crazy amount of damage. However, the question is, it's great in a tier 6 and 7 game. If we get into a tier 8 matchup, is it going to be as good of a tank? Because, of course, in your vehicles like the ISU, well, we actually weren't in a tier 8 match. So I'm going to thank my lucky stars and say, you know what? Let's not ask that, uh, that question right now. So here we go. Let's play the SPIC once again. Um, let's do this. So what do they have? They got a Type 62 T71 SPIC. I, all right, that's a pretty uh, pretty deadly lineup for me because light tanks, of course, are the only way to really take out an SPIC. If you're in a slow-moving heavy, I will bully you all day. You saw me there bullying the Kuro, bullying the Thunder. I bully pretty much everybody on the enemy team, especially that KV-2 because, of course, it's a slow-moving heavy, and I'm a tiny target. I think I'm actually one of the lightest tanks in the game. So here we are in my bush, and uh, once again, my team just completely rushing right out in the open. But, uh, you know, what? we still got a penetration connecting right into that P-43, and we did not get detected, of course, because I think this vehicle has one of the best camouflage ratings in the game. So let's just reload our clip. There's no point not to. MT-25 did not lose a lot of HP, which is good. So let's see if we can spot anybody else here. I'm just going to stay calm and collected and once again in this bush. We got the T-71 spotted there. I would love for that. Uh, is that the Peter on their team? It is the P-43. So um, I will wait here. Let's see if that MT gets shot. If he doesn't, that means that guy's not there. Oh, you know what? He is. There we go. Another nice penetration right into the, uh, the lower plate of that P-43. So that guy is just getting bullied by our tank right now. And we got that Type 62 right there, who looks like he's going to be ripping a power to our VK-36. So let's see if we can maybe help out the VK here. Um, let's load in an HE shell, maybe. You know, I don't need HE right now, let's say, to penetrate this guy. But uh, there's one nice pen and one more HE shell in the side. And, oof, you can see that shell velocity on the HE is awful. And, in fact, that shell should have penned the guy. But uh, it hit his track, which kind of sucks for me. But um, three seconds, we'll be reloading here. Let's get this Churchill. There's one tap in, and, uh, well, we might actually be able to penetrate with HE, but I'm not going to bother. There's two shells, 1,200 damage racked up already. Our team is doing a way better job overall. This VK actually has a sense of what he's doing, and my MT-25 is just ramming me because, uh, big brains. I don't understand people that play this game, but uh, there's one nice tap into that uh, Churchill. Let's even load a premium shell to make sure it pens. So there we go. That guy was taken out, and yeah, this is actually a pretty solid game. So um, what do we have left? We have the T-71, who, yeah, isn't much of a threat. We got the IS, who my AMX should be finishing off. Type 62 is a one-shot, but we do have that SPIC. So um, here we go. Let's go into battle, see if we can get this SPIC taken out. So yeah, there you go, 269 damage. Nice little love tap, and well, there went the SPIC. You can see just how easy it is to take out that tank if you do know what you're doing. We have the IS over here who just fired, so let's see if we can get get a shell into this IS. Um, let's see. Oof, that was a miss on my part, but um, one shot in the side finished you off, and all that's left is the thunder that is uh, worth shooting at for at least me. So let's go get this thunder taken care of. Can we pen him with HE anywhere? No. Okay, so let's get our shells into this thunder here. There is one shell, and um, one more. We should be all clear. There you go, another 200 damage. This is actually two very, very solid games, 2,604 damage. So the SPIC is actually a great tank. Even after the buff, I think it's wonderful. I think Wargaming did a good job. I actually enjoyed both of the games playing here. And that's usually rare for me, because usually a tank that kind of sucks before the buff kind of sucks after, because they don't buff the correct things. But you know what? The SPIC, the only issue I will say with the tank is that it needs a uh, shell velocity buff. It kind of sucks at hitting its shells across the map. It's really Really something that kind of sucks. Also, a lot of you have been asking about the giveaway, so if you stuck till the end of the video, the video, yes, but if you stuck till the end, I uh, messaged the winner on YouTube, and I have yet to receive a reply. I told him if you don't reply in 24 hours, I will pick somebody else, so I have messaged the winner, um, so if he doesn't reply, I won't be able to announce him, so I'll be picking somebody else in 24 hours if I don't get a response, so make sure you keep an eye on your Discord, uh, not your Discord, sorry, get them all confused now, keep an eye on your YouTube notifications, because when I reply to you, you will get a notification, just reply to me back how I'll be able to email you or something, and then it'll be the simplest thing. 
So other than that, um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. As always, please make sure to click that subscribe button down below if you did enjoy it. Other than that, I hope you're all doing happy, healthy, and stay calm out there as well on the battlefields because teams have been getting kind of worse, I've noticed lately. But other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Stay happy.